Imagine waking up one day and discovering that the world is not flat, not a rotating sphere, but something entirely different, something that defies not just your imagination, but centuries of scientific understanding. That's what the James Webb Space Telescope has done for our comprehension of the universe. Prepare to leave behind everything you thought you knew about the cosmos as we delve into the groundbreaking discoveries that are making scientists question their most fundamental theories. Your concept of the universe is about to be irreversibly transformed. Are you ready? In the long annals of human history, there have been a handful of monumental discoveries that have literally redefined our understanding of the universe. Copernicus moved the Earth from the center of the cosmos. Einstein replaced Newton's universal law of gravitation with his theory of general relativity. And now, cue the dramatic drumroll, the James Webb Space Telescope is shaping up to be another Copernican moment, another Einsteinian revelation. Before we jump into the jaw-dropping findings, let's take a moment to appreciate this marvel of engineering and technology. The James Webb Space Telescope, as it's affectionately called, didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of years of intense research, mind-bending mathematics, and an international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope is an intricate ballet of mirrors and sensors that function together in the cold emptiness of space to bring us the most detailed images of the universe that human eyes have ever seen. The universe before the universe, rewriting cosmic history and the inflationary epoch. So what's the first bombshell that this astronomical dynamo has dropped? Strap in, because the concept of a universe born from the Big Bang has just gained a head-spinning prologue. The JWST has unearthed groundbreaking evidence supporting the inflationary model, a theory positing that before the Big Bang we've all been taught, the universe experienced an almost unimaginable burst of expansion. Imagine this, the universe doubled in size, not just once, but at least 80 times over all within a time frame so minuscule it makes a blink seem eternal. This process, often referred to as cosmic inflation, suggests that the universe inflated faster than the speed of light. As for the mechanism behind this massive expansion, scientists are considering fields of exotic energy and even quantum fluctuations as potential catalysts. So, does the Big Bang now become a mere footnote in an even more intricate cosmic narrative? And let's take that idea further. Could this scenario make room for the mind-boggling concept of multiverses, each birthed from its own unique inflationary event? What could be the role of dark energy or even quantum mechanics in all this? The door to answering, or at least pondering, these colossal questions has been flung wide open. In a move that adds even more layers of complexity to our cosmic understanding, the telescope has made another staggering discovery six gigantic galaxies aptly christened as universe breakers. The name isn't hyperbolic, it's a dramatic but accurate descriptor. These celestial behemoths are shattering long-standing assumptions about the timeline and mechanisms of galactic formation. They're so far away that the light we're seeing from them originated just a few hundred million years after the purported Big Bang, a time when according to established models, galaxies should be embryonic, not colossal. Traditionally, our scientific narratives have painted a slow, gradualistic picture of galaxy formation, one in which tiny clumps of matter slowly gravitate toward each other over billions of years to finally form the massive structures we see today. The existence of these universe breakers throws a wrench in that narrative. Could it be that our classical models of galaxy formation are overly simplistic? What if these behemoth galaxies were products of conditions we've not yet factored into our equations? such as varying densities of dark matter or even interactions with other unknown forms of energy and matter? Could their size and complexity suggest a previously unimaginable sophistication in the orchestration of cosmic elements, an intricate choreography of astrophysical phenomena that we're only now beginning to glimpse, seeing ancient galaxies in their youth and reconsidering galactic maturity timelines? As if universe breakers and pre-Big Bang expansions weren't paradigm-shifting enough, Let's dive into another awe-inducing facet of the telescope's discoveries. 
one that's akin to having a time machine at the end of our telescopic lens. When we gaze at these far-off galaxies through the James Webb Space Telescope, we're essentially peering billions of years into the past. We're looking at a younger universe, a mere toddler in cosmic time, when things should have been only 2% as old as they are now. But here comes the zinger. These aren't baby galaxies we're seeing. They're mature, developed, and as intricate as our very own Milky Way. This flies in the face of previous cosmological theories, suggesting that early galaxies should be nascent, chaotic, and unstructured. So, what's going on here? Are there mechanisms at play that accelerated the rate of galactic development during the universe's early years? One intriguing possibility is that there could be forms of cosmic fertilizer as yet unidentified that sped up the evolution of these young galaxies. Another theory to consider revolves around the distribution and dynamics of dark matter in the early universe, which may have played a critical role in shaping galaxies at a quicker rate than previously thought. And here's another tantalizing question. If these galaxies matured so quickly, what does that imply about the life cycles of their stars? And indeed, the development of planetary systems within those galaxies. Could this accelerated growth also lead to the faster development of conditions conducive to life? It's as though we've stumbled upon a cosmic twist in the plot of universal history, one that might just redefine the story of our own galaxy's evolution as well. Just to underscore how staggering this particular discovery is, let's revisit the time-traveling aspect of looking at these far-off celestial entities. The James Webb Space Telescope gives us the unparalleled ability to be cosmic archaeologists, unearthing clues about the early universe by gazing into what is essentially a window to the past. What we're seeing through this temporal lens are not just any galaxies, but ones that appear as developed and complex as the Milky Way, despite existing at a time when the universe was a mere 2% of its current age. To say that this finding upends our previous understanding would be an understatement of cosmic proportions. So how did these galaxies grow up so fast? What cosmic recipe allowed for such an expedited coming of age? One possibility is the role of seed black holes, which are black holes formed early in the universe's history. These could act as gravitational anchors, drawing in matter more efficiently and thus speeding up the galaxy building process. Alternatively, we might look at the role of what's known as cosmic web, the intricate network of filaments made of both regular and dark matter that crisscross the universe. Could these structures serve as fast lanes for material to come together in the early cosmos? And let's not forget about the elements that make up these galaxies. Were there particular abundances of heavier elements that acted as a kind of catalyst for quicker development? Or perhaps these mature galaxies are where we might find the first occurrences of something fundamentally different, a new form of matter or energy that we haven't yet encountered, which could be the key to their accelerated maturation. Which brings us to another fascinating implication. What does this all mean for our Milky Way? If galaxies could mature so rapidly in the early universe, might that offer new insights into the Milky Way's own developmental history? Could we have celestial siblings out there, galaxies that matured quickly and might share similar characteristics to our own? The findings from the JWST are not just rewriting the celestial rulebook. They are inviting us to question the very framework of our cosmic lineage. Just when you thought we were done upending your understanding of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has another trick up its sleeve. This time, we're diving into the mesmerizing realm of star formation with a focus on NGC 346, a prolific star-forming region. This section of space is not just intriguing, it's paradoxical. Laden with dust clouds that are far from sparse, NGC 346 confronts us with an astronomical enigma. You see, the conventional wisdom holds that dust clouds act like cosmic naysayers to star formation, effectively becoming speed bumps or even roadblocks on the celestial highway of stellar creation. But NGC 346 throws this notion into a cosmic tailspin. Here, dust clouds aren't stifling the birth of stars. They're facilitating it. So what sort of cosmic alchemy are we witnessing here? One potential explanation may lie in the intricate physics of dust clouds themselves. 
Perhaps these dust particles are not merely passive actors, but actively engage in chemical processes that encourage the condensation of gas into protostars. Or maybe the dust clouds are particularly rich in specific elements or compounds that act as catalysts for star formation. We also can't rule out the interplay of magnetic fields, which could guide particles and gases in unique configurations conducive to birthing stars. And speaking of stars, what kind of stars are we talking about? Are these the typical sun-like stars we're familiar with? Or are we witnessing the formation of exotic, heretofore unknown types of stars that behave differently and have different life cycles? Could these be the nurseries for the most massive stars in the universe? Or perhaps, on the other end of the spectrum, for tiny faint stars that defy our current categorizations? The findings from NGC 346 force us to reevaluate not just our theories of star formation, but also the roles that dust and other seemingly inert components of space play in the mechanics of the cosmos. Are we on the brink of a revolutionary new understanding of how stars, and by extension, galaxies and even life itself, come into existence? This isn't merely a tweak to an existing theory. It's the promise of a seismic shift in our conceptualization of stellar genesis. The Webb telescope pulls the cosmic rug from under us yet again. This time, it's telling us to toss our old calculators and get ready for some staggering arithmetic. We're not talking a minor correction or a slight adjustment here. We're talking about a complete upheaval in our understanding of the stellar census. According to the data, the known mass of stars in the universe at this very cosmic instant could be a staggering 100 times greater than what we had previously estimated. Yes, you heard it right, 100 times. Now, let's pause and put this in perspective. We've all heard the poetic notion that there are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on Earth. But what if the actual number of stars is closer to being greater than all the grains of sand on all the beaches and all the deserts in the world combined, and then some? What does that mean for our understanding of the universe? More importantly, what does it mean for our understanding of star formation itself? If these numbers prove accurate, the implication is staggering. Early star formation mechanisms must have been operating at levels of efficiency that border on the unbelievable. It's like finding out that your humble car engine can not only run a local commute, but is also capable of interstellar travel. So what's behind this turbocharged star creation engine? Could dark matter be playing a more pivotal role than we thought, acting as a hidden hand that catalyzes the formation of stars? Or are there entirely new phenomena, still unidentified, that serve as the cosmic tinder sparking this proliferation of stellar entities? There could also be something even more perplexing at play. What if these numerous stars aren't the result of accelerated rates of traditional star formation processes we know of, but are the outcomes of completely new, hitherto unknown methods? Could there be alternative pathways to stellar existence multiple recipes for cooking up stars that we're not aware of yet. It opens up a pandemonium of possibilities, each more fascinating than the last. This revelation could mean that galaxies, even those formed in the early universe, are far more crowded places than we ever imagined. It invites questions about the kinds of environments these stars are forming in, and challenges our ideas about the amount of elbow room needed for star formation. It even opens the door to new kinds of stellar configurations and communities, the likes of which we've never considered. In short, this finding reconfigures not just our astronomical models, but also our very sense of cosmic wonder. Are we standing on the brink of a renaissance in our understanding of the universe? Is it time to rewrite the textbooks and remap our conceptual universe? It's an idea as breathtaking as the endless sea of stars the Webb telescope is unveiling before our eyes. After this whirlwind tour of revelations, one truth stands as stark as a lighthouse in the dark sea of our ignorance, our current standard model of cosmology, the venerable scaffolding that we considered our best approximation of universal truth, is trembling on its foundational pillars. The building blocks of our cosmic understanding, once thought to be as stable as the laws of physics themselves, are showing signs of cracks. This isn't just a chink in the armor. It's more like discovering that the entire fortress might be built on shifting sands. You might be asking yourself, if so much of what we thought we knew is being questioned, what then can we say we truly understand about the universe? 
It's a question that reverberates not just in observatories and physics departments, but potentially in philosophy faculties and religious institutions as well. Could these findings eventually lead us to reevaluate not just cosmological, but also existential questions about meaning, purpose, and the nature of reality itself? And let's not forget the lingering mysteries still tucked away in the dark recesses of the universe. For every question that the James Webb Space Telescope has helped answer, it seems to have raised several more. Are there phenomena even stranger than universe breaker galaxies or paradoxical star forming regions? What about the nature of dark energy, the enigmatic force thought to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe? Could future findings invalidate or dramatically redefine this mysterious entity as well? Even the notion of time, that seemingly immutable river flowing from past to future, might need rethinking. If the universe can expand dramatically before what we considered its point of origin, the Big Bang, then what does that mean for our understanding of temporal causality? Could there be events without a cause, effects without a beginning? But perhaps the most tantalizing question of all is, are we ready for a new cosmological model that not only accommodates these revelations, but possibly predicts even more mind-bending phenomena? And if such a model exists, Will it unify disparate observations into a coherent whole or lead us to an even more complex and fragmented understanding of reality? These are not merely questions for armchair cosmologists or sci-fi enthusiasts. They are challenges to humanity as a whole, urging us to rethink, reimagine, and possibly reorient our place in this unfathomably vast and ever mysterious cosmos. Are we at the edge of a scientific revolution an epical shift akin to when Copernicus posited a heliocentric model, or when Einstein unveiled the theory of relativity. Only time and more observation, hypothesis, and rigorous testing will tell. As we stand on this precipice of cosmic ignorance and wisdom, peering into the abyss of what we don't know, we can't help but feel a sense of awe. For the questions may be challenging, and the answers elusive, but in the quest for understanding, we find the very essence of what it means to be human. Are you ready to take the plunge into the unknown? Because ready or not, the universe, it seems, is far more astonishing than we ever dared to imagine. In this dizzying whirlwind of revelations, the James Webb Space Telescope has achieved something truly remarkable. It has humbled us. It has reminded us how little we actually know and how much more there is to discover. What you thought was a settled science is actually a realm of mystery and endless possibilities. Is it unsettling? Perhaps. Is it exhilarating? Absolutely. So as you gaze into the night sky, ponder this. What if everything you thought you knew about the universe was just the tip of a cosmic iceberg? What lies beneath the surface? How much more is there to uncover? How will the next generation of telescopes and technologies further obliterate our cosmic paradigms? Are you ready for your world and your universe to be turned upside down? Don't forget to like and subscribe faster than a shooting star. See you in our next video, who is now showing on your screen. See you there.